A new deal by the NCAA will now allow student athletes to get paid directly by colleges. So the significant move coming after the NCAA and five Power Five conferences agreed to settle antitrust allegations for nearly $3 billion. ABC's Melissa Don has the details. The new move in college sports allowing current and former student athletes to get directly paid to play. Following a landmark agreement between the NCAA and its five largest athletic conferences, giving colleges the green light to pay their players as early as next year. The new deal includes nearly $2.8 billion in damages for athletes who played as far back as 2016 and allocates over $15 billion to players over the next 10 years. It would be an amazing step towards ending the NCAA's exploitation of college athletes. The settlement coming from an antitrust lawsuit where athletes sued the NCAA for $4.2 billion, claiming the organization broke federal law by prohibiting college athletes from profiting off their own name. Many people speculated that this could have been the end of the NCAA bankrupting them if they had lost. So there was a lot of pressure on them to come to the table and have a settlement that was agreeable for both sides to allow the NCAA to exist, but also for some back pay for the athletes who are suing them. The deal allowing student athletes to earn money from their name, image and likeness from the NCAA directly for the first time. It also calls for a new revenue sharing model, which will pay athletes a cut of the money their schools generate from revenue streams, including ticket sales and broadcast deals. The framework of the deal is still being worked out, including how much funds to distribute to schools, and the settlement could also face legal challenges as this awaits approval from a federal judge, which could take months. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.